Okay, in this video, I will show you how to fix uh, the white screen issue that some people have with their laptops. Um, the laptop I'll be doing this on today is a Toshiba satellite. Um, I'm not a professional. I'm just a guy that refuses to pay somebody to fix something when I know I can do it myself. So, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm also posting this video because I haven't seen anybody post one that that really solves my issue so I'm going to attempt to try and help some people out if they're having the same issue but first uh, when my screen was going out it would go white and then I would see all these vertical choppy lines on the screen and occasionally when I would lift the laptop over here on this side and push up it would actually be okay. I would see everything and all the colors would be there and it'd be perfect. And then I'd let it go of it and then I'd get a completely white screen or I would get choppy lines and it would look real distorted and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything apart and see if there's anything on this side, particularly a screen table, and see if I need to reattach it or buy a new one. And also, a lot of people will say uh, there's something else internally wrong with your computer if the screen doesn't show a display. Well, in my case, I knew there's nothing wrong internally because the screen would still show, it'd just be completely white. So it works, but I'm just not getting the picture. So that's what also led for me to think that there's something else that's not being sent. Some line of communication is not being sent to the actual screen itself. The light is, but the actual picture is not. And there are also a couple of other videos online that show people showing their problem, but nobody really fixes it. And there's another video I've seen a guy, he did fix it, but I tried doing that same thing on mine and my uh, solution is going to be different. On his video, he actually took apart the back of the screen and there was a cable that wasn't connected on to his screen. So we pushed that back in, taped it down, and then it worked. For mine, I don't have any of those type of cables back there. So my issue, I'm assuming, lies inside the actual laptop. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to remove the screws on the back. Remove the screws under the keyboard. We'll have to first remove this strip here to access those screws. And then we should be able to take the back off and look and see what's underneath. Okay, now you're going to open your laptop up. And this is what you'll see, of course. But we need to take the keyboard apart here to access the screws underneath the keyboard. Usually on most laptops you'll have like a little strip somewhere, plastic strip, either on the bottom or on the top of the laptop. And in this case for mine, it's on the bottom and I already removed it. Um, what you want to do is you want to get something really slim and kind of pry it up underneath in between there and kind of pry one end up and then carefully work it out. And that one right there I broke. But be careful when you try and pull that out because that secures the keyboard in it. The keyboard should slip up. There's a little pin for mine that holds it in place. And then the keyboard is up. Now you can see the screws right there which we need to remove. And then that will drop uh, the back support plate out uh, when we undo these screws so you can take the whole back off. Okay, there's the back of the laptop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to loosen all the screws on the back of the laptop. I've already done so. As you can see, those are all the screws. One there. There's one in there. And there's one here. And there's one here. This one you may not need to move depending on your model, I guess. But this screw here actually holds in the CD drive. So you may or may not need to, but if you have to, go ahead and remove that screw. 
and actually when you remove that screw then the CD drive will slide right out so make sure before you turn anything back on you put that back in there your screws there up there right there and there's this screw here on this little panel thing here so you're going to want to remove that screw and when you have it loose you're going to want to pull this out and remove this because we'll have to remove the hard drive later I'll set that here for now and also before you get started on that you want to disengage the lock on your battery and remove your battery and set it aside until you're finished okay once you removed all the screws on the back of the laptop now you're able to take off the back cover here but first you have to remove the hard drive and it just slides right out just like that and then you can carefully start to pry it open be careful there are clips on here and if you get too aggressive with it see like that clip right there I don't know if you can see it but bend part of it back and just carefully lift up and then the whole thing should come off I've already loosened some of them beforehand so and then you will see this okay I took the back of the panel of the laptop off and this is what you will see and when I looked in here this cable right here is the cable that goes to the actual screen itself this one right here and as you can see it's not completely flush so it looks like it's backed out a little bit so I will try and squeeze that in yep and it does go in make sure it's in there good and tight and now I will put all the screws back on and see if that fixed it okay I've installed the hard drive again put the battery back in and before I put my clips back in and put all the other screws back in on the other underside of the laptop I'm gonna turn it on to see if that fixed everything this is the first time I'm doing this and we'll see if it works yes it does sweet <laughs> so that's it it was just that one cable that was loose was not fully inserted into the computer and that's it the screen is back I'm back in business Sweet. all right now I'm gonna go back through put this clip back in and then put all the screws back in on the other side of the laptop thanks for watching and hope that fixed your problem also